Hi, Total Recap here. Today we will be going through the events of the 2013 fantasy adventure movie Jack the Giant Slayer, directed by Brian Singer. Now warning, this video contains spoilers, so watch at your own risk. Now let's get right into the movie. In a kingdom called Cloister, a boy named Jack, who is interested in listening to stories, asks his father to read a book he found along with his late mother's belongings. Jack's father agrees to read the story for him. He starts with a story about a human priest's failed attempt to reach heaven with the help of magical seeds that would form a bridge and find God. But they never knew that there was a nowhere place, Gantua, home to fearless giants between earth and heaven. As humans built a bridge towards heaven, a swarm of giants descended onto earth through that same bridge. Everything was fine until giants started feeding on humans. Eventually, King Eric had to find some solution to stop the giants feasting on humans, so he, along with his army and priests, extracted a giant's heart and melted it into a crown, a crown that possessed the power to enslave all the giants. As soon as the king yielded the crown, all the giants kneeled before him. Using his powers, King Eric then banished all the giants away from Earth. Meanwhile, the same story is being narrated by a queen, the last descendant of King Eric, his daughter. She says that in this way, King Eric was able to restore peace upon his kingdom. However, as time went by, King Eric passed away and was buried along with the crown and the seed. After the parents finished their story, Jack on one hand believes in the story, however the princess doesn't buy the story. Ten years later, an adult Jack is asked to sell his horse for living in the market and instructed not to be distracted. Jack goes to the market, however he gets occupied by a drama version of King Eric's story. While enjoying the drama, he spots a beautiful girl. Later, the girl is bullied by some hooligans, but Jack interrupts them only to be punched. Meanwhile, a group of royal knights approaches them, and the bullies kneel, which shocks Jack. The girl they bullied appears to be Princess Isabel. The knight then dismisses everyone and goes with the princess. In the following scene, we are introduced to Lord Roderick, a man supposed to be married to Princess Isabel. When Roderick reaches his room, he finds that he has been robbed by a monk. He also finds that the magical seeds he owned are stolen. He immediately orders to seal the gates of the city. Meanwhile, Jack is approached by an unknown person with an offer for his horse. It appears to be the same monk, but he offers Jack the magical seeds in return for his horse. A naive Jack immediately accepts the offer. Before departing, the monk instructs Jack not to let the beans get wet. Now, Back in the palace, Isabel fights with her dad for not allowing her to explore the city. She is also not happy with her father's decision to marry her to Roderick. On the other hand, Jack is scolded by his uncle for being a fool and exchanging the horse with some useless beans. In a fit of rage, Jack's uncle throws the beans and leaves the room. Jack, however, collects the scattered beans from the floor, only failing to retrieve one of them, which falls through the crack on the floor. There in the palace, the monk is captured and Roderick kills him, as he does not tell him about the whereabouts of the magical seeds. After having disputes with her father, Isabel also leaves the palace. However, she is stopped by heavy rain, so she decides to take shelter in a nearby house. Meanwhile, Jack decides to go after his uncle. As Isabel approaches a nearby house, Jack opens the door. Jack lets Isabel in without knowing who she is. Later, when Isabel removes her hat, both of them recognize each other. As they are having conversations and getting to know one another, suddenly they hear a rumbling sound from the floor, like an earthquake. It appears that the bean that Jack had failed to pick up has been wet by the rain, causing it to grow into a huge climber-like shape. Suddenly, Jack is thrown out of the house by the growing plant while Isabel is trapped inside. The climbers continue to grow, taking the house on its tip. Jack tries to save Isabel but fails to do so. Isabel is carried through the sky by the climbers and Jack is left on the floor with Isabel's bracelet. The next morning, when Jack wakes up, he is confronted by the king, Isabel's father. The angry king asks Jack about Isabel since he sees Jack with her bracelet, and Jack immediately tells the truth. The king in return asks Jack where his house is. Jack points at the huge plant that grew out of the magical bean. The king then orders his men to gather and look for Isabel, while Jack proposes to tag along with them in the quest. Roderick suggests Jack should join as he was involved in all of this. They start climbing the plant while the king and others wait on the ground. 
Later, when they are on their way to the top, one of the knights is struck by lightning, and he slips away, making a mess. Most of them are hanging onto a single rope, which prevents them from moving forward. Roderick then instructs Wick, his assistant, to cut the rope and let them fall. Reluctantly, Wick cuts the rope despite the hanging knight's request not to. Roderick then lies by saying the line snaps suddenly. After continuous climbing, they reach the high ground. Jack locates his house expecting Isabel to be inside. However, it seems that she had already left. They trace her and are led into a cave. As they continue to look for her, they end up on the high ground. They then realize that the place is none other than Gantua. After ascending, they move further in search of Isabel. Suddenly, Jack is stopped by Wick and Roderick, demanding the remaining beans he had. Jack gives up the beans to Roderick and is threatened not to tell anyone. However, Jack mischievously keeps one for himself and hides it in his locket. On the other hand, the king and the army locate the fallen knights. They deduce that everyone they sent had slipped. Next, Jack locates the book that belonged to his mother, which he had gifted to Isabel. Elmont, the captain knight, decides to split the group into two groups of three each. Roderick, his assistant Wick, and Bald, another knight, are instructed to look for Isabel in the other direction, while Jack, Elmont, and Craw, Elmont's second-in-command, move together in a team. Sometime later, Jack, Elmont, and Craw locate some sheep. Without thinking twice, they plan to hunt and eat them as they have no food for a long time. While they approach to capture the sheep, they fall into a trap. Jack and Craw are captured in a net. Elmont tries to rescue them, while Jack also takes his knife and starts cutting through the net. Suddenly, a giant appears there. Jack hides under the water and Craw hides behind a tree. The giant then pulls the tree Craw's hiding behind to reveal his hiding. Craw is scared, so he tries to run away, but he is captured by the giant. In an attempt to rescue Craw, Elmont strikes the giant with a sword, only to be captured. The giant takes Elmont and Craw with him while Jack is safe. After the giant is gone, he follows them. On the other side, Roderick and Wick fool bald and push him off a cliff. They are also suddenly approached by a giant. The giant grabs Wick by his hand while another giant appears from the other side. As the second giant is about to capture Roderick, he takes something out of his bag. He had King Eric's crown with him this whole time. Jack follows the giant to the city of Gantua where Isabel is captured and interrogated about how she got there. However, Isabel refuses to answer. Apparently, a two-headed giant declares revenge against King Eric by feasting upon Isabel. Suddenly, Elmont and Craw are also brought there by another giant. The two-headed giant then asks Craw about the way down to the earth, but Craw declines. The angry giant then eats Craw alive. Seeing this, Isabel is scared to death. In the meantime, Roderick also succeeds in following the giant into the city. Suddenly, Roderick interrupts them by claiming to be the king of giants as he yields the magical crown. All the giants kneel before him. Isabel then cries to Roderick for help, but to everyone's surprise, Roderick tells them it's not the humans he wants to free, but the giants as he wants to conquer the whole world, starting from the kingdom of the cloister. Next, Jack finds Isabel and Elmont in the kitchen. They are being prepared to be cooked. Jack saves Elmont by killing a giant and rescues Isabel from there as well. Impressed by his courage, Elmont appoints Jack as another knight. They then plan to descend the cloister through the same plant which they came from, but they find that a giant is guarding it. Jack and Elmont then put a swarm of bees in the giant's helmet, making him fall from the cliff and landing right near where the king and his men were camping. Seeing this, the king then decides to cut off the plant right away. While the army on the ground start cutting the plant, Jack and Isabel are on their way to the ground. Meanwhile, Elmont stays behind in Gantua to fight against Roderick. Now, the following day, Elmont is woken by the sound of giants marching to descend to Earth. It seems that Roderick has his plan in execution. As Roderick is about to throw magical beans to create a way for the giants to descend, Elmont interrupts him. A tussle ensues and Roderick is killed in the process. The two-headed giant Fallon then retrieves the crown from Roderick and wears it as a ring, which allows him to command the giants. The giants then plan to descend to Earth, but right on time, the plant is cut down by humans. Elmont then quickly jumps just in time to get back to Earth, leaving the giants in Gantua. Fortunately, giants cannot get into Earth since they do not possess magical beings. Jack and Isabel are met by the king after they safely land on the surface despite all the havoc. Elmont also lands safely in the water. An elated king then rewards Jack for his bravery, and thanks to him as a father as well. Isabel also tells about Roderick's betrayal to the king. Elsewhere, the giants find the beans dropped by Roderick and throw it in the water, making them grow into huge climbers. 
Down on Earth, the king along with Isabel make their way to the palace. Jack also reunites with his horse. As the king and Isabel, along with their army, are on their way, they are alarmed by an emergency bell from a monk. The giants have landed on the earth and have started to lay havoc upon the place. Seeing this, the king and Isabel rush to the palace. However, they are attacked by a mob of giants on their way. Despite the giants' fierce attacks, the king, Isabel, Jack, and Elmont safely reunite inside the palace compound. Elmont informs the king of Roderick's death and how the giants possess the crown. Just when the giant King Fallon is about to get into the palace, he is shot by Elmont. After being shot, he drowns in the river. However, other remaining giants start attacking the palace. When Jack and Isabel are on their way inside the palace, they are confronted by Fallon, who survived the drowning in arrows. Fallon immediately captures Isabel. Jack then tries to rescue her but is caught by Fallon. Just as Fallon is about to swallow Jack, he takes out the bean that he had stored in his locket and drops it inside Fallon's mouth. Eventually, the magical bean starts to rapidly sprout inside Fallon's body, causing him to explode. Now here at the gates, the king and his army are losing against the giant's mob and the giants manage to get through the entrance. Suddenly, the new leader of the giants is shocked by something and all the giants start kneeling down. Through the crowd is Jack, approaching with a crown on his head. Finally, the giants have lost. Some years later, Two babies are in the bed listening to these stories about the giants and the poor boy who married the princess. It is Jack that is married to Isabel, and he is narrating the stories to their children. Later, the movie shows a group of students in a museum listening to a story about Jack and his bravery. The magical crown that was used for commanding giants now has been transformed into another crown and is stored in a museum safely. And that was my recap of the movie. I hope you enjoyed it. Now comment on what your favorite part was, and make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, take care, and goodbye.